When the Kyber that is not Kyber shines forth, the time of the prophecy will be at hand. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show... We're taking a look at Colon Crystals, the lightsaber-proof Fool's Kyber Crystal. This comes from the novel Master and Apprentice, which focuses on Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi's relationship before Episode 1. Having been discovered on the moon of the planet Pajal, the structure of the crystal is extremely similar to that of kyber crystals, which are used by the Jedi and Sith in the construction of lightsabers. While the crystals appear exactly the same as kyber on the macro level, microscopically they were completely different. Fool's kyber usually has the same heft as kyber and even has some vibration with the force. During the novel Master and Apprentice, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan discover that a group known as the Black Guards had been using the crystals to create a type of personal energy shield, which was impervious to lightsabers. But even later, the two discovered that a lightsaber powered by Fool's Kyber could produce an unusually low-powered orange blade, which was capable of slicing through the shields. Something else that's able to disrupt these Fool Kyber energy shields are energy bolts from blasters which lead to the two Jedi carrying blasters to use against the shields when their lightsabers couldn't penetrate. The crystals were ostensibly referred to in an ancient prophecy made by a Jedi mystic which stated that when the Kyber which is not Kyber shines forth, the time of the prophecy will be at hand. Though such prophecies had long been generally disregarded by the Jedi as a whole, Jin had long held a certain fascination for the prophecies. Though he had come to regard them, as largely metaphor. As of Master and Apprentice, Fool's Kyber, or Colon Crystals as they're referred to, are incredibly rare and even rarer than true Kyber Crystals. So far, the only known place in the galaxy in which they are found is on Pajal's moon. But though rare, they have a very low monetary value in the galaxy. At the time of this adventure, Obi-Wan was 17 years old, and in Episode 1, he's 25, which is an 11-year difference, while Anakin is said to have turned 10 during the events of Episode 1. So when the ancient prophecy says that when the Kyber, which is not Kyber, shines forth, the time of the prophecy will be at hand, we can see the prophecy that it's referring to is that of the Chosen One, which means that Palpatine and Plagueis created Anakin around this time. So there you have it, geeks. What do you guys think about Fool's Kyber? I came across this while listening to the Master and Apprentice audiobook and thought it was an interesting topic. I'm actually quite surprised other channels like Stupendous Wave and Star Wars 3 haven't talked about it yet. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.